The coral found off Australia's Lord Howell Island is helping to shed light on how cancer cells spread. In this case, the light comes directly from the coral. Fluorescent proteins found in the coral are being used as dyes to help track what happens inside cells. They start off going into a big blood vessel, and then as the, uh, as the blood vessels divide and they climb through and the blood vessels get narrower and narrower, you can then see those metastatic tumor cells at the microscopic level actually get through the blood vessels and then open up the blood vessels and squeeze through into the tissues, and that's how um, cancer spreads. Researchers are now working to clone the genes from these proteins and create even more colorful labels. What we can see in this image is two examples of how these dyes work. We can see in green, this is the green fluorescent protein, where we have tagged subsets of immune, subsets of immune cells. And you can see that these immune cells directly attack a cancer cell, which is highlighted here in blue. Weninger says the research has the potential to lead to the development of new anti-cancer drugs. What this allows us is to get very good understanding of the basic mechanisms, how cancer works in, in a, a variety of different areas, such as cell proliferation, cell spread, and interaction with the immune system. And this really presents the basis for the development of novel drugs or the testing of already existing drugs. The fluorescent coral may have other strengths too. The reefs off Lord Howe Island are proving unusually resistant to environmental stresses such as bleaching. These corals may, may harbor genes that allow them to be more resilient to certain stresses may lead us to a better understanding what will happen to coral communities kind of as we go into the 21st century and the, the climate is warming, the stresses are accelerating. Researchers will continue to shine a light on that mystery as well. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.